Welcome everyone to another video. Today we're talking about Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, a brand new game that's going to be released on October 25th. Unfortunately, I won't be here. I'll be in Japan. So if, at the start of the game, you get to ch pick a race as your character. And so you see the Saiyans, the Maijins, the Earthlings, and you get to play as the female or the male version of each race. Chose the male. Uh, I like the layout of how he is displayed already, but then get to configure his height i'm a fairly tall guy six foot foot so i'm gonna pick the highest the tallest one and then with the body size i think uh, that's too wide for me i'm more of like a narrow or like lanky kind of guy with more agility looking so i picked the medium one um i'm gonna show off all the hair types i think uh, number five then yeah number five look really good but I didn't go with it. I actually like that uh, Zamat Zamatsu's hairstyle, where it's like a frohawk. So I'm going to pick that one as my main. And uh, the black is too generic, so I'm going to change that up later. You get to change the eye style. I'm going to show them all off. Uh, some of them look really serious, and I, it's just because of how the eyebrows are. And I think after some of these changes, I'm going to pick the one that looks the most friendly, I think. Uh, I'd like to bring that into my character than to make him look serious all the time. Even though I think in the Saiyan blood, like Vegeta, he's super serious. But at times you gotta be easygoing and have a more laid back, fun attitude like Goku. Um, here we're just looking at the nose, different nose types. I like to pick the more animated one. I mean, these are more fictional characters. I do wish I could have some of these attributes like the crazy hairstyles if I had any hair at all or some hair just to style like that the nice eyebrows the, the curvy eyes and then the pointy nose and now we're ch checking out the chin uh, I think I picked the one with the stripes I think it brings out more character makes them more outstandish more f flashy now I gotta say this is just the first like couple minutes of the game where you, when you log in you have to connect to the Xenoverse server as so they say and sometimes the server's down, it takes uh, quite a while, a couple tries. I tried it this morning, it wasn't up, so now it's finally up. This is the beta version of uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. And I, I haven't played any other Dragon Ball games, this is my first one. And so far, having to create a character for yourself uh, to play throughout the game, I think it probably is different than the other games of Dragon Ball, which I have never played. And right here, you get to select a lot of different colors, um, skin tone for your character. And I actually always thought that Dragon Ball, the video game, was always like you get to pick the pre-selected characters. And then you get to just go ahead and fight right away, just like Street Fighter. But um, this is a little bit different than what I expected. So with the different hair colors, I... I like to pick this light blue. I think it's a little bit, again, stand out. It stands out a lot, makes them a little bit different, makes them look more cool. And, and with the paint marks on the chin, I'm just trying to show the various colors available, but I'm gonna match it up with the same hair color. I want you guys to pay attention when they go out of this view. You see it right here. I think on the right side, you see like a, a Goku silhouette. That was like his first normal human form. And I'm, I'm surprised that that's there because I didn't notice that until now. So with the upper body suit and lower body suits and hand and feet, I'm trying to match up the red and black. I like red on black. I think it looks really good. I, I thought maybe we get to pick costumes or not, but looks like that may be later in the game. I hope so because this looks really generic. So I'm going to go with the really glossy red on the black and I think this actually turns out to look a little bit like Zamatsu with the hairstyle and with a black Goku kind of outfit which I had no real intention of doing until I finished making this character then I thought wow he does look like Zamatsu and black Goku sort of hybrid you know the, the way they look and the colors and stuff like that I guess with the Goku silhouette on the right, it might be because you get to customize him in the future and maybe other possible characters within the game. 
that would be pretty cool with Halloween coming up in 15 days this does look like a very nice costume that someone could wear or even for cosplay and I forgot to mention um, before the home screen uh, game actually had a intro to let you know how or foreshadowing what's gonna be happening uh, a lot of time travel a lot of fixing things and how you're not supposed to fly around and or to destroy things and change time like how trunks did so I skipped that part but then it's just to save us time in this video this character customization part does take quite a while so I thank you guys for being patient and bear with me we're almost into the game momentarily I wonder if the story of the game does change if you pick a different race but I don't think so I think it's probably just one storyline you pick one character you customize it and you're gonna play that storyline and now you're gonna connect into the Xenoverse server I'm sometimes the server takes a long time so you might be some loading screens but I actually fast forward those loading screens just to save us time again and off we go let's see what this Xenoverse withholds during this time there's gonna be a lot of dialogue uh, when the character speaks I probably will not say anything but sometimes they don't say anything so then I will have to fill in for them and right here the first part of the animation looks really good you can see all those muscles the deltoids the arms the chest and I'm surprised the first character we see is Vegeta and he has always been my favorite then you hear Bulma's voice Boma and Vegeta are always fun to watch and here we are we enter the year of 852 you're flying into the city and you're just looking through a lot of the landscapes you land and you get greeted by a lot of people and this is where the game actually really begins So the first objective is to look for Elder Kai. Right here she says, The old man ran off that way. He may have headed for that building. Over there with the light blue roof. Somebody must have seen something. You should try asking around. Hurry up now. There's no time to waste. Oh, that reminds me. Even if you're in a hurry, you can't use flight yet. I saw you flying about. It's dangerous. It'd be out there flying recklessly like that. You need to get your flying license before you can fly in Canton City. Also, some places are off limits right now, even in the city, but that just means more to look forward to. So it looks like there's going to be a lot more training in the future. Right here is just where you can do some button checks to see what each button does and 
how to use the map and what to look out for, what things to do to accomplish some of the objectives. And the task to look for Elder Kai is actually really easy. All you have to do is just go around and talk to several of these people. They'll sort of talk about gibberish and about how they saw him run around. So just follow the red mark on the map. Also, the red mark actually appears on the character's head for who you're supposed to talk to. And after talking to like four of the other characters, you just go up that path where you first met the time of Kai. Then it brings you to Elder Kai. Once you meet Elder Kai, he sort of blames you for being late, but that's whatever. And now you, you accept his quest and you're actually going back in time where you get to fight one of the Saiyans. And this is where it gets interesting that you went back about 100 years. This is age 761. Okay, now you just made a floppy entrance and now you interrupted their fight. Now you're actually going to join them to help them fight Raditz. And I, I was actually pretty happy and excited to get a start to finally play this game. The action and the animation looks pretty good. So I actually like how you, know, you can do all these combos and do some fireballs. So I hope you guys enjoy this. So that was a short and quick fight and after 20 minutes you get to defeat Raditz and overall the gameplay is pretty easy, it's fun, it's enjoyable, the camera angles are good, I like the animation. The real drawback is the dubbing, I think the dubs are way off. I would rather play this in Japanese with English subtitles. 
the English dub is not really synced well with the character when they talk. So I hope you guys enjoyed this so far. I'm gonna stop it right here. This is the beta version and it allows you to play it until tomorrow the 17th. But the game is released on the 25th if you wanted to pre-order it. And I thank you guys for watching. Until next time.